So you want to add music like Spotify to your Twitch streams without the audio going to your saved VODs. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do just that. Hey guys, I'm Snoopius Maximus, I'm a Twitch partner, and I mainly stream horror games like Phasmophobia. But my goal with this channel is to share my knowledge and experience as a content creator to help you grow, avoid burnout, and build something you're genuinely proud of. Whether you're booting up your very first stream or you're deep in the daily grind, I'm here to pass along the wins, the fails, and fixes I've learned the hard way. All right, so let's get right into it. The very first thing you wanna do is make sure you have the Spotify desktop application installed. I've always been using the desktop application. It makes it a little bit easier to capture for a stream because you can use the application audio capture, which is what we're gonna be using here. So I highly recommend it. I will post a link for that. I'm not gonna go through the process of installing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the add source. You can click on application audio capture, definitely name it something that's relevant to what it is so spotify audio or just spotify is fine click create now what you want to do here is it's going to let you select a window now if you don't have spotify open it will not show up in this list so make sure spotify is open and running in the background if it's not here hit cancel open spotify and then it should show up here so you're going to see Right here, Spotify.exe, Spotify Premium. So you want to make sure to select that, hit OK. And now you'll notice Spotify Audio gets added to the mixer, the bottom down here on OBS. All right, so now that we've added Spotify Audio to our audio mixer, we've added the source. We want to make sure it actually works. Open up Spotify and hit play and you should notice the spotify audio will start to light up we know it's actually picking it up so if i pause it it'll stop and now we can move on to the next step so the next step is to make sure that your stream and your vods are actually on separate audio tracks so the first thing you want to do is head on over to your obs settings open up the output tab and make sure that your output mode is set to advanced. Otherwise, you won't see these options. Once you click into advanced, you'll notice audio track as well as Twitch VOD track. So you wanna make sure you check the Twitch VOD track option. By default, this is off. Now, if you see this check marked, you wanna make sure that you select a different audio track than your streaming track. This will make it so that on your live streams you can stream spotify play spotify but they in fact won't show up in your vods which is really nice i set mine to track one for my stream and two for my twitch vods and then make sure to hit okay now the most important step go into advanced audio properties now remember we set track one to the live stream and track two to the VOD. If we want Spotify to go to stream, we leave number one checked and we uncheck number two. That's it. Now, if you're in the middle of streaming, this doesn't work. You have to be offline in order for this to go through, but that's pretty much it. And that is how you capture music from Spotify or other apps on stream without it ending up in your Twitch VODs. Now, hope that helped you out. If it did, toss a like, drop a comment if you've got any questions, or just leave your favorite emoji. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more streamer tips. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.